To state the obvious, crops need water to grow, but each crop requires a different amount. We recently talked with UNL Extension educator Jenny Reese in Clay Center about what new research shows about corn, soybeans, and sorghum in dry land conditions. The purpose behind this research was we're seeing a shift in acres from sorghum and dry land fields to dry land corn. And so we were, the question was, is sorghum as crop water use sufficient as the new dry land corn or the new corn hybrids and also soybean varieties? And there's a lot of reasons for that shift, basis prices, um, herbicide options for corn versus sorghum things like that. And so we were just trying to see, you know, with the new genetics, how do they compare? It's a three-year study from 2009 to 2011. Tell me about the logistics and how you went about the research. Okay, so the, the research was conducted in an on-farm research setting. So we used a farmer, um, John Dolnichek. He allowed us to do this research in his farm. And we had corn, sorghum, soybeans, and it was randomized, replicated three times throughout the field. We used watermark sensors where we installed them at one foot, two foot, three foot, and four foot depths. And it was, they were attached to a data logger, collecting data every hour. And then we, at the end of the year, each year, we collected all the data, analyzed it, and determined what the crop water use efficiency was. And what does it look like? What, what did you find in there that you were hoping to find? Or that you, the research that you were looking for? Okay, so we ultimately, we were trying to answer the question, which crop is the most crop water use efficient? And over the three years, what we found was that sorghum was able to produce at least 5.5 bushels for every inch of water used. Corn was able to produce at least 4.3 bushels for every inch of water used. And soybeans at least two bushels for every inch of water used. So ultimately, over the three years, we found that sorghum was still the most crop water use efficient. And this is using regular hybrids, the best hybrids at the time of the study, this is not considering the drought tolerant hybrids that are on the market for corn. Your yields for all three were very good over the three, and especially in one year as well. Yeah, this past year we had really good yields, and especially in our soybeans and in our sorghum, because we had really timely rains. And when you're looking at a dry land situation, you're hoping for those timely rains. So, What do you hope to do with this research? How do you think it can be effective or used in the future? Well, I think the research can be helpful for people when they're looking at situations where they're in water allocation situations, when we're looking at years where we have potential for drought, or um, just any kind of water limited situations where they can see that sorghum still is a viable option as well as dry land corn. Do you think it's only in this area, in this part of Nebraska? Can it be used statewide and can it be used to the south where more sorghum is grown? I think it could be used throughout Nebraska. This, this research can be applicable throughout Nebraska, throughout the United States and really throughout the world because there's um, crops grown throughout the world, whether it's sorghum or corn, soybeans, any of these crops. The water use research was funded by the Nebraska Grain Sorghum Board. And 